test mic what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic let's continue our discussion about dynamo all right so let's try to explore more so this time i'm going to show you how to create a floor plan and sheet using dynamo that we can use on our revit all right so what we are going to do is without further ado i'm going to create a new dynamo project again i'm going to set the operation to manual all right okay so the node that we will be using to create the floor plan so let's say for example in this view we only have level one all right so let's say i want to create level two so i want to create a floor plan so for us to be able to do that so going back to dynamo so we will be needing our uh floor plan oops okay floor plan by uh by level okay floor plan view by level so you can also create a ceiling plan view by level but this time or in this case we're going to create a floor plan so by level okay so just click that one so as you can see this is a very simple node we only have one input here we just need to specify what level of floor plan that you want to create so in our case so we want to create let's say for example level two okay so we want to create the level two same procedure if you want to create level three four and then roof okay so just for this exercise let's create level two floor plan all right so going back to my dynamo to to be uh, to be able to specify the level so look for levels okay just click that one and then after that if you click the drop down arrow you will see here the available levels in that rabbit project that we have so let's say i want level two so i just need to select level two just connect levels there okay and there you go so all you have to do is to run it so before i run i'm going to restore down this so that we'll be able to see it here in our uh, in our model so as you can see we only have level one so if I'm going to select here run just click that one so you will now be able to see that you just created your level two so if you double click that so this is now your level two floor plan so let's say for example I want to change the name okay so I want to change the name to level zero two okay level zero two of course i can right click from here and then i can just simply select rename but instead of that so let's try to explore more for us to be able to familiarize ourselves on the nodes that is available for us to use in dynamo because these nodes that we are using you can reuse this on our uh next project okay you can reuse this one so that it will be more uh, faster way efficient way to create a floor plan now let's try to change that one okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to look for set parameter by name so let's look for this one okay so this one so set parameter by name so i'm going to select this so as you can see in this node let me maximize it okay so we have three inputs so we have element we already have the element so we want the level so i will just need to connect that one now what is the parameter name that we want to uh, use to replace the name of our level so if i'm going back to revit okay and then check the properties the parameter name that we need here is this one view name we want the view name okay to replace it to all caps level zero two okay so for the uh, parameter name so that is view name so we need to use a string here okay so here I'm going to type string so just click string okay and then you can type from here so you need to type in exactly what is this one so if it is capital V, so you type capital V. If it is a small letter V, so it's a small letter uh, letter V. So you always type the exact parameter name. Okay, so capitalize it correctly. All right, so I'm going to type here view name. All right, so that's the parameter name. So I'm going to connect that there. 
now for the value so what we want to do is we want to replace level 2 by all caps level 0 2 space 0 2 all right so again we are going to use our string so I'll just copy this control C control V okay that's it and then you just need to type in here so we want that uh, all caps so level 0 2 and then after that you just need to connect that one Oof. all right okay then after that so let's run it there you go okay so you just replace it okay actually this is the second time I created or I renamed this particular view in this project that's why there is no more a uh, dialog box that appear you know that part uh, you know that uh, familiar dialog box that appears whenever you change the name the one that is asking do you want to change the name of the levels and views something like that so in this uh, uh, in this case it doesn't appear anymore because from the previous one when I am working on this project I already uh, tested changing the parameter name that's why and I and I have selected no so that it will not rename the uh, the levels okay anyway so this is the node that we are going to use element set parameter by name now let's say for example the next thing that we want to do we want to create a sheet for this we want to create a 102 dash second floor plan okay so we will be using the available sheet here which is a1 okay so that's our next exercise again it's simple for me to create the sheet here all I have to do is to right click new sheet and then I, I need to specify the name I need to specify the view and then I need to drag the the floor plan on that sheet okay but instead of using Revit so we I have an easier way for that so the string that we will be using in Dynamo uh, sheet, I'll just type sheet here and then I'll use this one. Okay, by name, number, title block, and view. Okay, this one is view. The other one is views if you want to create multiple sheets. Okay, so I'll just select this one. I'm going to create one sheet. So for this node, we have four inputs so we have sheet name sheet number title block family type and then the view all right so the sheet name so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a couple of string here i needed a couple of string node okay control c control v control v all right for the sheet name so let's say i want to name it a102 all right, so A102, and then for the the number here, oh, the sheet number is A102, and then the sheet name is second floor plan. All right, so this one is capital, okay, all caps, second floor plan. All right, so this one, so I'm going to type second floor plan, okay. So I'm going to connect that to the sheet name and then for the sheet number A102. Okay, connect that to the sheet number. Okay, okay, so A-102. So A-102. So that's the format that I want. Now for the title block family type, as you can see, as I hover my pointer here, it shows me that I needed a family type input here. Okay, ah, uh, output. Okay, so family type. So let's look for that family types. All right. So as you can see here, the output is family type. The input here is family type. So they are partners. All right. Okay. All right. So family types. So if I click the drop down arrow, I'll be able to see here all the family types that is available in that project, in that Revit project, including the title block that we want. So I'm going to select this one. All right. And then I'm going to connect that to the family type. Now the next is the view. All right. So the view. What is the view? 
that we want to be inserted on the title block. All right, so we want this uh, second floor. So I'm going to click this floor plan view, and then I'm going to connect that to that view. All right, so let me just arrange this one so that you'll be able to see it nicely. Okay. All right. Okay. So after that, I'm just going to restore down so we can see. So I'll just need to select here, run. Just click that one. And there you go. You just created the sheet here. Just double click that. And then this is now your sheet. So I just need to drag this inside. All right. Okay. So it's more faster. Why? Because you can reuse these uh, nodes in your next project. Okay. If you have. So it's already connected. So you just need to change the value here. Okay. That's it. All right. So that's how you create a floor plan view and sheet using your Dynamo. So you can use it in your uh, Revit project. All right. So once again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.